I recommend whenever you're making a dinner with dessert, start with dessert first because it usually takes longer and it usually requires a little bit more focus. So I'm just gonna chop the rest of these apples. I use green apples because they're a little tart and there's sugar in the cake and it's a nice balance. Also the green apples that are firmer will stand up more when you bake them. This cake is definitely a cake that I grew up with. My grandmother used to make this frequently. The best thing about spending summer in Shreveport, Louisiana with my grandmother was cooking with her. I still have her original recipe. My mom would make it a few times a year. It's so comforting and it reminds me of both of them. Okay, let's put together the dry ingredients. We have three and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. I really can't think of anything better than apples and cinnamon. I think it's one of those things that reminds you of just a warm blanket. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna get my eggs and sugar. The sugar is considered a wet ingredient because you wanna mix it in with the eggs. You always wanna separate your wet ingredients from your dry ingredients. Make sure the eggs and the sugar are mixed well before we start folding in the dry ingredients. And I'm just gonna whisk together the dry ingredients and into your stand mixer, three eggs. Add two cups of granulated sugar and one teaspoon of salt. So you definitely wanna mix this sugar with the eggs to make it a little bit of a creamy paste before you add the dry ingredients. While it's mixing, I'm gonna add some vegetable oil, a cup and a half. A cake with oil, no butter. My grandmother wasn't buying butter, butter was expensive. This is a really down home cake, really simple to make, inexpensive. All right, let me get my rubber spatula. We're gonna fold in the dry ingredients. This will make the cake really tender. So always dry into wet. That way you avoid it becoming clumpy and messy. I usually do maybe like a, a third at a time. Third in, mix it, another third. Go around the outside of the bowl and turn it on itself like that. My grandmother always had a cake. You never know who's gonna stop by. I really didn't know a house in the South that didn't have a, a cake already made, just ready to go. So just gonna finish mixing that in. With oil in this batter instead of butter, this is going to be a very dense cake. It's pretty well mixed. You don't wanna see any flour. So just go around there. Okay. And next, we're gonna fold in our apples and some toasted walnuts. I already toasted these in the oven on a baking sheet at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. So let me just give these a little chop. I like to toast them just to bring out the flavor. That looks good, it smells good already. So. And the apples we can add at the same time and fold everything in. My grandmother definitely made this as a bunt cake as well. We always had a bunt pan. Hers was made out of cast iron. You know, I, I took for granted my grandma's strength. You know, she was a pretty formidable woman, lifting the cast iron pan and all this batter. She definitely had a presence though. So it was her home <laughs> and there was no mistake about it. I may have inherited a little stuff from her. Now I'm gonna put it in my bunt pan, which is lined with butter and a little bit of flour. And that's really important to make it easy to get out. Last little bit. Now this goes in a 350 degree oven for about 60 to 75 minutes. Okay, so that's gonna bake. Next I'm gonna make my brown sugar glaze. Now, you won't ask why I called my restaurant Brown Sugar Kitchen, right? <laughs> I love brown sugar. Okay, we're gonna melt a stick of butter, a quarter cup of milk, whole milk, and one cup of brown sugar. Okay, we're gonna bring that to a boil. Up next, as soon as the cake is cooled, I will drizzle it on top. 
I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the own channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.